What is going on everybody and welcome back to episode 2 of the Spider-Man wall climbing series. So in the last episode we put some tape on boards and tried to climb walls like that and as expected it completely failed. So then I was thinking on how I could actually somehow climb walls legitimately and I came up with this idea. So I'm going to get some aluminum bar, make it into a little circle thing, put some supports there and drill two holes there. So in those holes, I'm going to put a screw with a washer and then one of those, I think it's a nut. Th that's all just going to be around this glove. And then I'm going to have two different attachments. So one attachment is going to be for electromagnets. Now I've got one of them right here. It's rated for, I think, 80 kilograms, which I don't know how many pounds it is. I'll put it on screen, but I know it's a lot more than I weigh. So it'll be secured to a piece of aluminum, which you'll be able to screw in there whenever you want to climb something metal, like a bridge or something like that. It'll be able to screw into there. And I also got one for wood. So I was looking up some tree climbing gear and stuff like that, and I'll just show you guys over here. These look like they might actually work. What I can tell from the picture is you just stick into wood like this. You can slide up, but you can't slide down because the, the nails will be digging in the wood. And you can actually buy these for $15. I don't have $15. So we're gonna have to make ours ourselves. So they're just, so I'm thinking about getting nails through the aluminum I'd say about five, three long ones, two short skinny ones. And then they'll be screwed in to the actual metal part here. So say you wanna climb metal, slide this in, then you can climb metal. So with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So I got, I got one problem and that's I don't have any aluminum bar left because I used it all on this thing. So sadly, this thing's gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to take its aluminum. Sad times, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So another issue we have here is I need a battery charger, but the thing is, um, battery chargers are very expensive. So I've been, I've just been using this thing without charging it, and that's probably gonna be an issue. So I'm gonna have to save up for that charger, then when I get enough order the charger, hopefully it comes in time for the video. I really wanna test this in the same build video, so hopefully the charger will come in time. So I gotta go do work, get some money, and buy a charger for this thing. So yeah. All right, so, so basically, I forgot to record. I was doing like a sick time lapse and forgot to click the record button. So we got a lot of progress done on this thing. Oops. I ended up just attaching the metal thing to the glove. The electromagnet is on a little aluminum bar piece here. It slides on and off this, and then it gets bolted down when you wanna use the electromagnet attachment. I also uh, padded the back of it with some of this, uh, with some rope. But yeah, we still have to do the wiring and stuff for the electromagnet. So if you want to see how that's going to be done, I'll be sure to record that and double check I'm recording. All right, so for this first test, I'm going to be attempting to climb this thing. I don't know if you can see it. So right now we have a temporary setup. Normally I'm going to have a button right up here so then you can click it to turn on and off the magnet. But for now I'm going to have the battery pack in my sleeve. 
and then I'll just have it plugged in so the mag so the magnet will always be on and I'll just try to see if it can actually climb this wall. Also my tripod, it won't go any taller than this and I can't angle it because I have four pop sockets on my phone. So if you can't see my face, I don't know if I'll re-record this. I don't, I don't really want to, but I'll readjust it next time. So like that, that kind of worked. The battery's really low, like I said before, but yeah, once the, I just ordered the charger actually. So once that thing comes in, we'll have a full battery, full power, and I'm pretty certain we'll be able to climb up here and stick to like the top metal thing. So when the battery comes in, I will definitely test this one glove out. Finally got one of the electromagnetic wall climbing gloves all completely done. So sadly I don't have enough money as of now to make a second pair. So we're just going to do a couple of tests only using one pair of these. And then I'll be working on the wood climbing ones which will also be in this video. So yeah let's go test this thing out. So this, this thing actually worked incredibly well. I thought I was, I, I just didn't think that this would work that well. So yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to being able to get another battery, another magnet, so then we can make another one. And once once I finish that, I, there will be a crazy test video. I'll probably try to like climb a steel bridge or a building or something like that. Nothing too dangerous. But anyways, let's go make the wood climbing stuff now. So I finished these up. I didn't show the recording or the process. They're just spikes on there. Now I'm pretty sure these are gonna work. And we're also in the woods by uh somewhere. Oh thought I saw something. We're also in the woods by uh by Burger King. So let's climb some. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, this one's stuck in there. I'm trying to go more back. I don't know what it is. Oh, this is actually stuck. My hand's stuck. <laughs> oh no. Go 
going on? So that, so that leads to these gloves being kind of, kind of destroyed. So I think that's gonna call off the tests. If I manage to fix them at my house, I'll try climbing the beams and stuff. But yeah, this has been sort of successful, especially the electromagnet, which you should tune in to when I make the second glove because we'll climb a bridge and do some crazy stuff. So I'll see you then. Okay. Uh.